Hey y'all, happy Monday. Our graphic novel for this week is oh, down. Grand Theft Horse by G. Neri and illustrated by Corbin Wilkin. Uh, this graphic novel is about the true story of horse trainer Gail Rufu, who ever since she was a little girl has loved horses. Uh, she's studied all sorts of um, dressage in Europe as well as training horses when she was a little girl in Texas. Um, she also just has um, an affinity and care for horses as well as what others would say are unconventional training methods. So in the story she becomes part owner of a promising racehorse and begins training it, him, but the other um, co-owners uh, just see the horse as a profit potential and push it into racing too early, which reveals this really dark side to horse racing in general, where horses are raced too early and pushed too far. There's a lot of um, heavy drug use for the horses going on a lot. So basically just like rampant animal abuse is going on. And for someone like Gail, this is really horrible. So this leads her to, um, in the dead of night on a Christmas Eve, uh, whisking away her own horse out from the eye, under the nose of the other owners and safe, securing it safely away. Which then leads to a long ordeal in which she is um, harassed by the other owners, followed by private investigators, uh, she's blacklisted from the racing world and has her license to train horses suspended, basically cutting off her livelihood. And on top of all that, she's like charged with a, a bunch of different um, crimes, or crimes, um, one of them being grand theft horse, which had not been like charged since the 1800s or so. It was like an old law. Even the judge was like, what are you talking about? Um, for context, this story takes place in the early 2000s. Anyway, so once the charge happens, a bunch of complicated legal proceedings take place. Um, not only getting herself acquitted of this charge, but uh, um, getting her license back and basically just standing up to the powerful attorneys and people of the racing world who are doing a bunch of shady stuff but she sticks to her morals and not to spoil it but spoiler uh good triumphs in the end uh, and she has an afterword written by gail herself in which she um heavily advocates for um being vocal and advocating for the rights of horses because the, sh the racing world in general is not a good place for them. Um, so if you like graphic nonfiction, if you're into uh, sort of uh, standing up for what's right, um, if you're an animal lover, if you are into complicated legal procedurals, uh, any of that, you might really like this book. I enjoyed it a lot and I highly recommend it. Anyway, that's it for today. Stay tuned for Teen Book Tuesday tomorrow and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.